It's the 2022 Quick Fit British Touring Car Championship and we're here at Donington Park for the start of another season of frantic racing and intense rivalry all in front of the ITV cameras as it has been for the last 20 years. But what we've got at Donington today is a lot more than just the sense of anticipation that goes with the start of a new season. There's a real feeling of the unknown as the British Touring Car Championship takes a pioneering step into a new era, the hybrid era. It's the dawn of a new era for the British Touring Car Championship. So it's out with the old and in with the new. Bye bye ballast. Hello hybrid. The BTCC is driving change. But all the classic ingredients remain. Is there anybody out there looking for a party? Elbows out. Paint swapping. Wheel to wheel racing. Shake your money, make a baby smoke it if you got it. Electrifying tin top drama. You just can't take your eyes off it. New drivers, race winners, former champions, and old rivalries renewed. As a BTCC kind of legend, looks to sign off in style. It's a new chapter for the championship. We can't wait to get started. As for the script, well, that's up to us to write. Yes, it's got everything this season. Even Jason Plato, his quest for a 100th touring car win, just one of the many possible storylines. The Donington fans, they'll be keen to see how Ash Sutton defends his title in a new team. There are huge opportunities for Dan Camish and Jake Hill. Will this be Tom Ingram's year? Well, Donington is the place to be for all fans of the UK's number one motor racing championship, and they're here in force today. So Donington, the starting point, we have a 10 weekend schedule for the 30 races that make up the championship. That includes two visits to Thruxton, two to Brands Hatch, including the season finale on the Grand Prix circuit when the first champion of the hybrid era will be crowned. Donington Park, though, right alongside East Midlands Airport, should have been the season opener in the last couple of years, but COVID got in the way, but now it sets us off on a season of change. Blast off and a good start by Turkington, but a good getaway also by Jake Hill, who claims that inside line on the run down to Redgate. Of course, the rear wheel drive BMW is expected to be away nicely, and Turkington it is, who swoops around the outside, even from a length back on the grid, Ingram to the outside, because Ingram dives up the inside of Sutton, look for third place, and he goes through, fantastic! Ingram's on the inside, Sutton is behind, they could both go through. This is fantastic racing. What a start to the year we're having. So Tom Ingram on the inside of Colin Turkington, down towards the chicane. He'll break later, Ingram's got the line, Ingram's got the lead, and look, suddenly it's six, it's seven for the lead. Fantastic stuff. Tom Ingram is going to lead at the end of the lap. Background, Shedden's just gained another spot, hasn't he? He's gone ahead of George Gamble. So there, the Team Dynamics run Honda, making his way up the order. There, diving up on the inside of Tom Chilton for position is Josh Cook. And look at Chilton with the blue light flashing, indicating that he's using it all the way up the hill to try and defend. Oh, off goes Plato, puncture on the left front. It is. No. And they're going to come streaming past him. And what a way to start the new era of the British Touring Car Championship. Tom Ingram wins from Colin Turkington second and Jake Hill third. Gordon Shedden is going to take fourth ahead of Ash Sutton and a Morgan Stick. Round two then of the Quick Fit British Touring Car Championship is go and Colin Turkington goes nowhere. Everybody now has to dodge around him. It's going to be Tom Ingram in the lead as the cars accelerate down towards Redgate for the first time. So Stephen Jelly doesn't get to the line. Colin Turkington doesn't leave them as there out wide goes around the outside. George Gamble to go second. And now side by side for second look because Gordon Shedden used hybrid as he went past our window and it's worked for him because on the outside line, Shedden goes second. Down to third is George Gamble. Jake Hill goes over the line. Where's he at to? He's put himself to 13th from 28th on the grid. And he's about to make a move on the inside line. Is there room? Well, there is now. Moffat gets forced out wide and Jake Hill goes through. And Jason Plato is going to pounce as well. Both the hybrid lights flashing away. They'll still be flashing, going. Look, they're <laughs> using the hybrid all the way up the hill, both of them. But Shedden gets all the way round the outside. He did a beautiful comeback. Well, as Jake Hill tries to get up the inside of Aaron Taylor Smith, was there a rub? Well, either way, Taylor Smith is sideways, and Jake Hill goes through. Camish is in stripe. I'm afraid the Ford has slowed right down. Well, that's a shame. They've not had the race weekend 
their pace has promised. So Gordon Shannon turns into the chicane. Ingram could not be closer on the run to the line, but Gordon Shannon is just going to hang on in there for Halford's Racing with Caterpie to win round two of the Quick Fit British Touring Car Championship by 0.197 of a second from Tom Ingram. George Gamble for the podium in his second ever touring car race. Outstanding. Adam Morgan is fourth. Josh Cook fifth ahead of Ash Sutton. And what on Colin Turkington because he comes up towards the line trying to grab another position and he ends the race 14th in the point. Lights go out now. It is blast off and a good start by Hill. Not a great start by Bobby Thompson. A good getaway by George Gamble. What about Adam Morgan? Out of all of that as well. Gamble gets hemmed in on the inside. Morgan goes round the outside of others as they dive down a red gate. Jake Hill has the advantage then. The BMW lead the way. Dan Lloyd is second and it's Sutton third. Josh Cook on the inside gets his nose in front. The outside for the next corner. The inside for the old hairpin. Cook absolutely on the limit, but he goes through. God, Sutton gets so close to the back of Lloyd's car. Then they're side by side. Sutton goes round the outside. They touch again, but he's through for the moment. Will he have the pace in that motor base Ford focus to hold that position? Their race pace has been poor over the duration so far, but there, Turkington through on the inside of Gordon Shedden, so he's caught up and instantly making progress, and that means that Bobby Thompson has got past Gordon Shedden as well. Ingram dives up the inside of Butcher, that's the position, of course, it is for sick that he's gone through, elbows out, but Tim goes through. Others will fall over each other after the inside of the grass, there's a bit of contact there, they're rubbing going down the crane as they're side by side, round the outside goes Cook, I think he's going to pull this off, he is. He's going to have to leave his braking late, which he does. He lines up for the move on the inside, and he goes by. Good driving this by Ingram. The chicane beckons. Jake Hill is on target for a first win as a BMW driver, and it is going to be honours in round three of the championship. Jake Hill takes the chequered flag. He's victorious at Donington. Ash Sutton is second. And third is going to be Josh Cook. Dan Lloyd is fourth on the run to the line, but only just ahead of Tom Ingram, who's right there behind him. And a Morgan is sixth. But in championship terms, Tom Ingram's day. He has uh, the lead over Gordon Shedden, 51 points to 44, a seven point lead for Tom Ingram. Ash Sutton in third, Josh Cook in fourth. Early stages, of course, in the championship battle, but uh, Tom Ingram certainly making an impression today. Motorsport absolutely everywhere at the moment, but some of the best of it was today at Donington Park, and the standard will continue over the next few weeks, I'm sure. Tim, Paul, thanks very much. Join us at Brands Hatch three weeks' time.